Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Welcome to a brief video presentation of Shad's SH40 top case. This is a uh, mid-sized top case in Shad's range of products. 40, has, yes, 40 yes. liters in capacity. All Shad top cases will show their capacity in their model number. So if you have an SH29, it'll have 29 liters in capacity. If you have an SH50, it'll have 50 liters in capacity and so on. Shad's SH40 top case is really a great application for maxi scooters such as Yamaha's T-Max, the Yamaha Majesty, Suzuki Bergman, uh, Kimco Exciting. It's a great application for 150cc and 250cc scooters as well as they have a little bit of a, of a larger body uh, size. 50cc scooters, it depends on the model and the brand. Uh, they'll sometimes tend to look a little big on uh, some of the smaller 50cc scooters. And the street bikes, uh, Suzuki GS500, Yamaha FZ1, Yamaha FZ6, great applications, Kawasaki KLR, uh, great application. So there's uh, a lot of bikes out there in the market that this case uh, actually makes a great fit on. Uh, what I want to do in this uh, brief video presentation is kind of go over the functionality of the case, the opening and closing of the case, uh, mounting, dismounting it from the universal mounting plate, and then some of the optional accessories, the backrest, the color plate, and then the new LED light kit that uh, was just developed by Shad as well. So let's take a look at the inside of the case. As you can see there's a, uh, a helmet in here. This is a, a rather large size open face helmet. Uh, Shad's SH40 offers enough size for a full face helmet and an open face helmet. You would have to lay them side by side. Uh, if you use just one helmet, you can have it facing up and then uh, use some extra rain gear or some gloves. Uh, the width of the case is 17 inches. It's about 14 inches in deep. So you can easily uh, fit a 17 inch laptop in here, 14 inch laptop. Let's go over opening and closing of the case. To open the case, we pull the handle and there's a lever. The case opens. To close the case, we push down and we close the handle. Open, push down, pushes, close. Let's go over some of the standard equipment that's offered with uh, Shad's SH40 top case. What are the single most important accessories that is standard equipment with all Shad cases is the universal mounting plate. This universal mounting plate is what allows you to attach the Shad case to any flat surface that you would have on your bike, on your scooter, on your motorcycle. This is what differentiates Shad from its competition. All Shad top cases have this as standard equipment. Through a system of nuts and bolts, as you can see here, there's endless options to align this to a flat rack on the back of your, uh, of your motorcycle or scooter. So through those nuts and bolts, you can tightly fasten this to the flat surface. And it takes about two to three minutes to mount this on the back of your, uh, of your motorcycle, and you're ready to go. Let's take a look at the dismounting from the universal mounting plate. We pull the lever, the uh, handle, and then we have a lever on the bottom, which we open, and the case comes right off. To mount the case back on, we keep the lever open, push down, and let go. It's mounted. So again, we pull the handle, we pull the lever, the case comes off. To mount it, push back down, let go of the lever. What are some of the accessories that are offered for Shad's SH40 top case? Number one, color plate. Shad has five standard colors in, uh, in their color plates. The blue, red, silver, black, gloss, and titanium. Very easy to mount. There will be some separate uh, videos on mounting accessories for the SH40 top case. It takes about two to three minutes to mount this, um, this color plate to the Shad SH40. Shad's SH40 offers an optional backrest. The model is DORI60. This is what it looks like mounted on the SH40 top case. Again, there will be a separate video on how to mount the backrest. Uh, it takes two to three minutes to mount the backrest to this, uh, to this top case as well. Last optional accessory we have for the SH40 top case would be the newly designed LED light kit. Now the LED light kit, and this is a patented uh, development by Shad, mounts right into the mounting plate of the top case. So as you can see here, once it's mounted to the uh, mounting plate and you disconnect the case from the mounting plate, there's no need to disconnect wires. Everything stays right on the bike. This is it's a great level of convenience. All the accessories have uh, their instruction manuals, as does the top case. Uh, if there's any questions that you have, you can go online and check an FAQ. 
or uh, you can email us for uh, specific mounting instructions. You can download uh, manual instructions as well from the website or contact your local dealer. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll have more videos coming up for the uh, installation of accessories for the SH40 top case. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. You go over the SH40 top case, the top case that holds a full face helmet and an open face helmet, 40 liters in storage capacity. The case is large enough to hold a 14 and a 17 inch laptop on its side. To open the case, pull the lever, pull the handle, and open the lever. Opens the case quite easily. To lock the case, to close the case, push down. Close the lever. Note that if we do not close the lever, simply push down, the case is not going to close. It's going to remain open. In order to close this case down, we need to push down the lever. Now we can see it's completely closed. To lock the case, push down the lever and turn the key. It'll lock it to the actual mounting plate to the vehicle. To remove the top case, we use the lower latching system. Pull it and remove the case. To mount it back, we got to pull it, make sure that it takes on to the lip in the bottom, and then release the latch in the bottom. Now it's securely fastened onto the vehicle again. Accessories for the SH-40 top case. Color plate. If you receive a case in matte black, remove the sticker on the front of the SH-40 top case. Keep that sticker with you, or you can disregard it because the color plates always come with stickers. Mount the top plate to the top of the case. There's three attachment points. One is the screw behind the sticker. There's a screw under this opening here and there's a screw under this opening here. There's a pre-drilled hole here and there's a pre-drilled hole here. Plus you have the screw that comes under the sticker. So it's three points that you need to attach the actual color lid to the top case. Finally, we have an optional backrest available for the SH-40. That would be the DORI-60. To mount the backrest, backrest to the case, there's two pre-drilled holes on the inner side of the top case. Drill the holes and then attach the backrest to the case. The clips on the back side will allow you to fasten the backrest to the top case. The reflector on the SH-40 serves just as that, a reflector. What is available is a brake light kit that mounts into the mounting plate. It mounts right under the mounting plate. So when you remove the SH-40 top case from your vehicle, the mounting plate, the brake light stays on the mounting plate. There's no need to remove any wires or disconnect any wiring at all.